This cute little girl, she fell in love with her father. She took advantage of her mother's absence, wearing heavy makeup, wearing sexy clothes. She kissed her sleeping father. The girl's name was Ace. She's an orphan. Her husband and wife just adopted her a few days ago. The whole family loves her, except for their rebellious son. That's when the nightmare began. The wife gradually realized that Ace was different. She always wore clothes that didn't fit her age. She wouldn't let anyone touch the ribbon around her neck. The boy, Danny, was practicing shooting in the woods, but he accidentally shot a bird. And Ace picks up a brick and smashed the bird into a pulp. What's even stranger? Whenever the husband and wife were having a deep conversation, Ace would always be watching. So his wife found him and talked to him, explaining that when adults love each other, they do things to show their love for each other. But Ace's answer shocked him. Looking at this nine-year-old girl, the wife was dumbfounded. That day, Ace was playing in the park. He pushed his classmate, who used to tease him, down the slide. The girl broke her ankle. This made his wife think that Ace wasn't normal. He called the director of the orphanage. The wife told him about Ace's injuries. This made Ace, who was watching, very angry. Ace decided to stop pretending. She played the piano skillfully. The wife felt something was wrong, because Ace said he didn't know how to play the piano. When confronted by his wife, Ace admitted that he was lying. She told her husband about it, but he didn't believe her. He thought he was prejudiced against Ace. But the next day, this girl was a real pervert. Said there might be something wrong with Ace. Something bad had happened to anyone who'd gotten close to her. There was a fire in his last foster home, but the husband always thought it was a coincidence. And Ace overheard their conversation. So he took his sister and stood guard at the junction where Dean was coming down the hill. When he saw the Dean's car, he pushed his sister out of the way. Luckily, nothing happened. The Dean got out of the car to check if her sister was hurt. That's when Ace hit Dean with a hammer. Ace hit the Dean with a hammer. He asked his sister to help him drag the body. After realizing that the Dean was not dead, he added a few more blows. Then he threatened his sister not to tell anyone. A few days later, the body of the Dean was found by the police. This made his wife even more convinced of Ace's suspicions. She argued with her husband about what was wrong with Ace, but Ace overheard everything. To get back at his foster mom, he picked all the white roses that she planted for her dead daughter, and to make matters worse, he broke his own arm to frame her. When the husband found out, he threw his wife out of the house. The wife knew her husband was a fool, and the only way to get him out of the house was to find evidence. Soon he found a book in Ace's room, a book with the name of an organization called Sarn. I think it's the same orphanage he's been in before. He called to inquire, but the staff told him, this is not an orphanage, it's a mental hospital. This lowly is horrible. She was trying to get back at her foster mom. She released the handbrake on the car when she was no longer there. The mute daughter in the car was too scared to call for help. Luckily, she crashed into a snowbank and stopped. The little girl was fine. The wife was convinced she'd left the handbrake on. The little girl tried to tell the truth. But Ace threatened her. If she went to the police, he would kill her. At night, the older brother came into the younger sister's room and asked him if Ace had done it. The younger sister drew a picture of Ace's crimes. She even told him about the bloody clothes in the treehouse. But what I didn't realize was, Ace had already heard it from the door. The next day, his brother came to the treehouse to find the evidence. But Ace followed him. He took out the bloody clothes from his school bag. He asked him if he was looking for these. Then he poured gasoline on them and burned them. He ran out quickly. The brother ran up to the roof. Ace just watched from below. And then he hit the ground hard. Ace picked up a rock. She was going to kill him. Luckily, his foster mom, Vincent, came over. In the hospital, the husband was still defending Ace. When our son wakes up, it'll all come out. Ace, of course, didn't give him the chance. He took off his oxygen mask. He put a pillow over his head. And when he found out, the wife was devastated. She slapped Ace across the face. Everyone thought he was crazy. Ace came home with his foster father. He got all dressed up. He put on a sexy dress. Foster dad was shocked. He yelled that he was sending him back to the orphanage tomorrow. Ace was in a murderous rage. At the hospital, his wife got a call from the mental hospital. Turns out Ace wasn't a teenager after all. She has a hormonal imbalance. She stopped growing when she was a child. She's 33 years old. She's already got seven murders on her hands. When the wife heard about it, she rushed home, but her husband was already in a pool of blood. 
She had to find her little girl as soon as possible. On the roof, he saw his little sister hiding in the flower room. He signaled him to hide inside and not to run away. But as soon as he said that, Ace appeared. The wife knocked him out. She held her daughter in her arms and begged for help. And then the police came. But that's when it happened. The two of them rolled out onto the ice and fought. The youngest daughter took the opportunity to pick up her pistol. But she accidentally broke the ice. They both went underwater. Eventually, the wife struggled to get out of the water. But a hand behind her grabbed his foot. Don't let me die mommy. I'm not your mommy. This is the end of the movie. Who would have thought? How a little girl. How a little girl can be equated with the power of a thriller. A nun from the orphanage arrived.